Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl, and this is going to be my first attempt at a plan with me video. So, a um, couple of things first before we begin. A, if you can hear a slight clicking in the background, that's my, my kitchen ceiling fan. I'm on the kitchen counter. The light is more or less the most agreeable right here. Second, um, I'm not entirely sure how long of segments this phone is go my phone is going to let me film. Um, usually, usually it's only about 25 minute to 30 minute segments. So if but what I've learned in the past is if it cuts off after that max time, it immediately keeps recording. So I'll just have to splice everything together, and hopefully it won't be too crazy. So. As we get get started, I've got my um, snake tripod -y thing above me with the phone, and it's connected to something over there. Hopefully, I'm not going to bump it, but like I said, this is my first time doing any sort of plan with me, so please be patient. Uh, feedback, constructive criticism is welcome down in the comments below. Okay, so first thing, second thing, because, you know, first thing was all the little stuff. Um, I've got to prep my planner pages for March. I was going to do this plan with me last week, but I got caught up doing other things and we had a wedding to go to and I didn't get back till after eight o'clock. I mean, the wedding was lovely and everything. Um, so starting off March with a plan with me was the plan, but it didn't happen. So I'm just going to move this aside and I've got my lovely... Uh, weeklies for March right here and also my April monthly so and as you can see nothing has been washi taped yet so I need to do that first and another bonus for using the kitchen counter hopefully this focuses a little bit this is my washi tape collection and I'm just gonna pick out a couple of fun washi tapes some of these I haven't even used yet okay this one I try to keep all my skinny washi together over here sometimes that happens and sometimes washi tape rolls around as we all know so excuse that put that over here okay so I've got donuts and unicorns is that more skinny washi? Oh no, that's um cool. It's like cocktail drinks. So I'm going to do those. Um what else? I'm usually not this like scatterbrain, but I think it's the fact that I'm actually filming this. Okay, so that should be enough. So I'm just going to set these aside. If I need another one, I'm just going to grab my sushi one. All right, so these are the washi tapes. I'm going to attempt to use uh, sushi. Hope that's coming out. Unicorns, which this one might be a little wide. If it is, that'll work out for me with something else. Donuts, cocktail drinks, and this lovely rose gold stripe. All right, so for those of you that have seen me do this before, this isn't going to be anything new to you, so, and I'm knocking stuff over. Hopefully, I'll, this will go a lot smoother. All right, so for me, I just plop the, stretch the washi tape, plop it down over the holes, and once all the holes are covered, I tear my washi tape, okay? I'm the type of person, I don't care if it has rough edges. I know for some people that drives them nuts, but you do you. I'm going to do that. All right, so that's the first one. You know, I used to use plain old scotch tape and then I had all this washi tape lying around that I just wasn't using. And um, because it bulks up, I was using it in my journals for a little while, but it was bulking up my journals a lot. So, like to the point where it was breaking the binding, and that was annoying. 
All right, one week done. Let's go to donuts for the next one. And for those of you that have seen this before and you don't want to watch it again, just fast forward. This is brand new. I can't even tell where the... There's the edge. Um, so I, ha I, I had all this washi tape lying around and it was cute, but I couldn't figure out what to use it for. And I'm like, well, duh, why don't... Instead of, you know, using clear scotch tape, which I will do sometimes, like the summer and fall seasons, I do actually like... The, uh, the deck, not the decoration, but the, but the image, you know, that runs along the side. So those months I'll most likely use clear scotch tape because I like looking at them. But for the rest of them, yeah, I've got washi. Why not use it? I'm not a fan of the tulips. It's too much red for me. I think I've said that in a previous video. Now, if I'm repeating myself, guys, forgive me. I'm just trying not to have dead air. All right, donut washi, done. Cocktails. This one's a brand new one, too. I don't even remember where I got these, to be honest. There it is. There's the end. Come on. Seriously, longer nails would really help right now. All right. And uh, every plan with me obviously will not have this. I just meant to do it last week and didn't. So. That one's a little messier. Oh, well. And this just also helps reiterate in case anybody has any questions about how I actually washi tape over something because I have gotten that as a question before. Okay. And actually, you know what, for April, let's see. Yeah, that's too wide. I'm gonna have to save my wider washi for something else. All right, so April gets sushi. I love sushi. I'm actually going for sushi next weekend, I think. Yeah, next weekend. Had to look at the calendar. There's this awesome place in Brandon called Koizy where the sushi's all you can eat for like 20 bucks. So I'm probably going to die of mercury poisoning at some point. And not only does the washi tape help, um, you know, cover the holes and give a nice, you know, a little decorative flair, but just like with the um, scotch tape, what it does is it re also acts as a whole reinforcer. So I'm going to put all my washi tape away after the video because you guys don't need to be bothered with that. So the next thing I need to do is I need to repunch them. Now, if I was at work, my job has an electric hole punch that gets the hole spot on every single time. I love it. But I'm at home, so I have this big gargantuan three-hole punch. And if you guys can see it, there's a little... Um, silver line right there. Using this thing doesn't work. Trust me, I've tried. So what I do is I take my week and I line it up. You guys can't really see this part. You know what? Yeah, you won't be able to see. Maybe you will be. All right, see where that line is a little bit? Right there. And I'll just lay it down and punch it. I'm going to pause so that you guys don't have to deal with this. Okay, so all the hole punching is done, as you can see. Right there. Lovely, lovely. And I set the other ones over here. All right, now it's time to plan. So, open up my lovely Monster Flex. I've got March and the first week of March going on in here already. So, I'm just going to flip behind them 
this is one of the catch-ups or hang-ups of the Monster Flex, the, the, where the, uh, the uh, rings snap in. Sometimes your pages get caught. But I've honestly noticed that happening more, not with the pages, but with this uh, page finder that I have. Because the holes aren't really big enough, but ideal because this is the planner that works for me. Okay, so let's load in, and all the holes are lined up, so I can just do that. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know this is this weekend's task list. But we're going to ignore that and go on to my weekly setup. So even though I cover up the red um, with washi tape, I still do try to theme when I do the weekly setup with a color that matches. So like last week's. I haven't filled this in yet, which is really bad, but anyways. So, we're going to do the same here. So, this week's focus takes five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And if that sounds familiar, I completely stole it from Passion Planner. I did not come up with that. I love the Passion Planner, but this works better for me. All right, then the next part is, I call it positive stuff. You can call it good vibes, whatever you want. Um, and that, I do nine lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And adding a little pop of color is nice so that it's not just... Um, you know, black on your sheets or your inserts and then the rest of it I split half and half between a personal list and a work list and I count 15 lines down and draw my line so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 And no, my line is not completely straight. I can't draw a straight line even when tracing a straight line. So, but that doesn't bother me too much. And then I write personal. If I can remember, watch me misspell personal while I'm filming a video because that would totally be something I do. And then work. Boom. Okay. Now, I do start filling in these lists. Um, this week's focus, I'll actually decide that later on tonight. It's still midday on Sunday, and I'm still working on things. What I forgot to mention in the like positive, good vibes area, this would be the Passion Planner's Good Things That Happened This Week section, is I, I do nine lines, you know, two lines for the title and then seven lines that way you know one good thing each day that's kind of my goal you can think of it as daily gratitude whatever okay so personal this is where the fun pencil case comes in and all the colors come in so you guys know my color coding system let's see uh, let's see, April Patreon story, which I'm still working on, and ha actually, that's a lie, I haven't even started it yet, Gibbs Smith proposal, okay, this teal is my writing color for um, my writing life, you know, I want to become a published author, and I've got to work towards that. Um, my creative writing group prompt, um, that's due later this week, so I need to work on that. And I'm just going to, that, I'm going to stop right there for this week. Um, purple. This is not, obviously this is not a Pilot G207. This is a Uniball Signal. And that's because all of my purple 
uniballs or uh, Pilot G2s ran out, so I just went to my stash and grabbed another purple pen. This was part of the purple pen pack from Jet Pens. Let's see, I want to um, do a lot of work on my mini skein 10 stitch blanket because I'm half a dishcloth away from being done with my monthly dishcloth requirement and I should finish that today, hopefully, which will mean I will have lots of time pretty much the rest of the month to work on that and that is the biggest thing for me that's my next big project and I also need to um, submit pattern design to testers if you guys have been following me for a while or if you follow my I'm trying to write and talk at the same time this is going great uh, my uh, knitting all the blankets podcast. I've been designing a cowl and I finished my first work through of it, updated the pattern and you know got the write up done. I just need to sub I've joined two testing groups on Ravelry and I just need to submit it to get testers. So I need to work on that this week. All right, pink. We're back to pink cuz pink is homesteading/ slash anything outside the house. So, I'm gonna be fertilizing the pineapples later today. Oh my God, y'all, my pineapples. I have, I have 15 plants and 14 pineapples coming in. Now, that doesn't mean that almost every plant has a pineapple, no. Some of them are too young, but I've got one that's got dueling pineapples and then, or no, two that have dueling pineapples coming up and then one that's triple. So I need to make sure to fertilize and water them. Um, I'm actually going to save this one because this homesteading is going to depend on what I get done today. So, and green is house. So, um... I've got laundry piled up, so I need to do a load of towels. I know this is fascinating. Uh, quilts to be washed. Other bedding, blah, 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 blah. Um, and also, I need to balance the books. Fun stuff. So, if I do have any homesteading stuff, it'll just go down underneath there in pink. So dark blue is my work stuff and everything goes right there. So what I did, because I didn't have these pages, normally the Friday, Friday afternoon before I leave work, I will fill in this part already. But because I didn't have these pages done, I wrote everything on a post-it. So, book repair. For those of you that have, are brand new to me, hi, thanks for stopping by. But I am also an academic librarian at a local college, and I specialize in book repair, as well as ordering new things. And I have several things in my office that I need to fix. Now, for those of you that are wondering, what is this Dave Ramsey PowerPoint? Well, coming up in April, we have what's called Professional Development Day, and I am presenting with a colleague on getting debt free and Dave Ramsey and the baby steps and all that fun stuff. Then I'm also doing another presentation the same day on time management. And I also, did I just spell time management wrong? Probably. It's real life, people. Um, So I've got to start working on the PowerPoints for that. I've got to put another book order in, an ebook order, fun stuff. Then some title lists that my director requested.
Okay. And I've left myself some space. I can recycle this post-it now. For when, um, like if anything else comes up during the week. So, we are currently at 20 minutes. So, hopefully I can get through that. That was just the weekly list that I work off of. Now we get into this. Okay, so as you guys are aware, I just moved my pens out of the way. I have been washi taping over my times um, and essentially been giving myself one long list. Let me flip back to last week. I did this like all of February and I really enjoyed it. I really, really, really did. So I'm going to grab another thing of washi tape. I really like this one. I really like this one. So this is what I use my thin washi for. I'm just going to turn my planner on its side. Again, am I going to be able to find the end instead of boring you guys to death? Is that it? Hey, there it is. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, so for this one, I try to just cover the times, but if I end up covering up the entire column, that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there's that sign. It kind of went over. I don't care. And on the other side, I like using darker washi because I had some lighter washi that you guys may have seen in video in um, pictures on Instagram and all that, but um, I could still see the times through them and it bugged me, so I don't use the white washi anymore. It has to be a darker washi. So, okay, that's done. The first thing I do is I take my highlighters, a orange highlighter and a yellow highlighter, and I go in and I put in my exercise and any appointments that can't be moved. Okay, so like every day I'm doing a 30 day yoga challenge, which once I'm done with my yoga challenge, I am going, I'm going to do like a little summary video on it and tell you guys how, how it went. I'm 10 days in and I'm loving it. I've also learned the hard way about, um, when you've got something on the first line, trying to write over it, just, it doesn't work, so. All right, I'm just gonna write yoga. Is it gonna bug anybody if I just, you know, do what I made this thing to do and do this? This pen that I'm using is just a Sharpie fine point because in my experience, it um, writes the best on highlighters. So that is just my opinion. Um, and I did two lines because I always try to do an hour of yoga, even though I'm not using the timeline. That just, I like that it takes up more space because it reminds me that I need to make time for doing stuff for myself. And I've really been enjoying yoga. So I'm going to peek back at my monthly real quick and you guys won't get to see that. Alright, the only thing I've got, I've got two things going on this week. I've got an appointment on Wednesday at 11.30. And I don't know how long it's going to last, so I'm going to go ahead and give myself three lines for that. And then on Saturday, my husband and I are meeting. This is the sushi date I told you guys about. And because we go to Brandon, that's kind of far, so. Uh, noonish. 
sushi, double date with friends. And I just write their initials because I know what it means and to protect their privacy. All right, so you think that would be it? Oh, no, no, no. If you guys recall, I have my self-care stuff that I put in here, plus weekly stuff. So, again, we're going to go through and add that. Essentially, it's read, write in the teal, and then in purple, I write knit because these are things I want to make sure I do every day. All right, so I don't bore you with writing that all in. I'm going to pause the video again, and we'll come back once it's all done. Okay, so that's what it looks like once it's all done. A few other things that I need to add, uh, like on Sundays, I do a weekly writing update post for my patrons on Patreon, and I was a slacker and actually didn't do that last week. So bad, Corey. Um, I give myself a buff and shine manicure, or at least I try to, every Sunday. And set up my week. Because it's more work related than anything, I do it in dark blue. Okay. So this is what it basically looks like before I start adding in daily tasks. So I'm just going to do, because I plan a day ahead, I don't plan out my whole week, like what I'm going to do, because that's just inviting Murphy into your house and he screws things up. It's one thing to, to have an intention of doing stuff or, or appointments you have to keep. That's totally different. But to try to plan out every single day before the week has even started has never worked well for me. So, I'm just going to put in some work stuff real quick. And last week I went heavy on Monday and actually didn't do too well. So, I'm going to try to be better. Um, let's see. Yeah, and I already have to look back at this. At the thing. Uh, BAS 17, 18 titles. Now I'm going to stop at three. Usually I give myself about five things to do, but I know these two things are going to take me a while. So, plus I also have reference, I have to cover the reference desk as well as give people lunch breaks. So I know that. That may all I get, that may be all I get done tomorrow. Um, and let's see, what is something else? Um, let's see, let's go for writing. Um, brainstorm April Patreon. I've got some ideas, but I'm gonna start flushing stuff out. And. Um, I don't want to do the Ravelry thing just yet, and I know mini skein 10 stitch knitting is going to come under knit down here, so I know it doesn't seem like much, but that may be enough for me right now, and like I said, it's only 1240 in the afternoon on Sunday. I may end up adding stuff to this list that I can then add to tomorrow. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave it for now because I have to be very flexible with my planning because the second I get way too rigid, it all goes to hell in a handbasket. All right, so thank you for watching my very first plan with me video. I managed to keep it almost under 30 minutes, God willing. Um, comments and constructive criticism, please leave down below. Um, Thank you for watching, and if you guys end up liking this stuff, I'll do more of them, okay? Bye.